Have you ever heard about the ship of Theseus? It's a thought experiment based on an ancient story. It goes, the ship of Theseus, Theseus was a mythical founder of Athens, Greece, was sailed once a year as part of a commemoration. But as time passed, the ship needed maintenance. And after a while, every plank of the original ship had been replaced. Is it the same ship? Or if you rebuild a ship out of the old planks, would that ship then be the ship of Theseus? You might be thinking, but this video is supposed to be about biology. Why am I telling you about old ships and mythical founders? Well, because this ancient philosophical quandary is surprisingly similar to a question I was recently asked by a clever young scientist about the brain of a butterfly. Let me tell you more. This is ASU. Some of the best questions are from young scientists. Take, for example, this question about butterfly brains from a fifth grade student. Greer asked if a butterfly's brain is the same as when it was a caterpillar. Now that's a fantastic question. To begin to answer this question, let's talk about brains and brain cells. As you probably know, the brain is the control center for most animals, including humans. This is where signals are sent out and received by the rest of the body. These cells can help an animal move by controlling muscles, or they can transmit information about the environment and make changes according to what's happening. If it's too hot, it might signal muscles to move to a shady location. If there is a predator, it might signal to hide or even change color to blend into its surroundings. This is all pretty straightforward for most animals, except for those who make big changes during their life, such as butterflies. These animals begin life as an egg that develops into a caterpillar. As a caterpillar, they move by crawling around plants and eating. They eat a lot during this period and move around a lot. You can imagine what a caterpillar's brain needs to control. Finding the best plants to eat, moving around the plant, eating and processing food to prepare for their next stage in life. This is where they change from a caterpillar into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. And it is one of nature's most fantastic feats where an animal changes from one form of animal into a very different animal. Once they make the change from crawling, eating, and pooping machine into a flying, mating, and egg-laying butterfly, their brain has different parts to control. So does the brain transform like much of the caterpillar when it goes through metamorphosis to become a butterfly. Most of the parts, like muscles and other cells, are broken down, and the materials are used to build new parts, like wings and antenna, and new muscles. The brain and its cells are a different story. The existing brain cells are reused to control the new parts. So old muscles that were used to crawl are remade into muscles to control the wings. But the nerve cells in the brain remain the same. They adjust to their new role and help the new butterfly during its new stage of life. It's a reminder of the fantastic nature of nature. So while the question of the ship of Theseus might continue to perplex philosophers for a while yet, the butterfly story is a little more straightforward in at least this one way. Though the caterpillar and the butterfly might be two different creatures, their brains have the same pieces. It's carried forward from one form to another without needing to be rebuilt anew. Whatever experiences and memories the caterpillar might have had, the butterfly gets to keep as it sails on into its new life. This was ASU. Thanks for watching.